Hello lovelies, my name is Sarah Kaddish and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm very tired, I'm drinking a spoon in a can and I'm going to talk to you about idol worship um, or idolatry, all those fun things. Now my journey with statuary had sort of started with my experiences when I was uh, you know 15 and getting into witchcraft in high school and the eclectic coven that I joined uh, my teacher was very big on uh, statuary and things like this and had the most beautiful altars um, and still does the stuff he posts on Instagram is just so pretty um, and so I was definitely exposed to that sort of when I first entered into this space um, or into magical spaces and I think since then like my relationship with um, statuary has only become like more and more central to my relationship with spirits now I guess like the reason for that and like when I start working with a spirit and I'm starting to see see results and I'm starting to build a relationship with them um, I am always sort of drawn to purchase statuary for them and if you've seen my altars at the altar video I think I mentioned in that about how like when we create altars and we build spaces for the spirits we invite them into our space and therefore into our lives um, and I think the same can be said about statuary you know you give the spirit a place in your home um, a place to stand in your life so that they can sort of interact with you so it's kind of like a portal um, through which the spirit can can come into your space and into your world um, so I, I've always had a really strong relationship with, relationship with statuary and I've always found it pretty central to my relationships with spirits. I think that the first the first statuary that I placed on my altar were a king and queen from a chess set um, and that was like the first depiction I had of like the spirits uh, on my on my very very first altar so um, you know I, I think you can definitely be innovative with this and like you know throughout my time I've had Catholic saints and I've had you know those bronze god statues and I've had all sorts of things ambiguous wood carving things and all this sort of stuff so like you know I don't think that you need to buy any specific statues I think if your spirits are like yeah that one um, you know go with that one as all as in all things you know listen to your spirits and and see what they say but you know in, in terms of like my experiences with this stuff right um, I've sort of had an interesting relationship uh, because you know you do get to a point where you're like you know how many spirits is too many spirits they're not Pokemon I'm not trying to catch them all um, and so you know I, I sometimes am a little bit overwhelmed with the uh, amount of statues that I have and like always being like oh this new spirit I kind of want a new statue um, so <laughs> it's definitely something that I have to have a level of self-control with because otherwise my house would just be full of statues um, and I think as well like the pop culture magic kind of bleeds into it a little bit as well because like it's not uncommon for fans of things to purchase figures of you know I've got some behind me here of uh, the blue power ranger um, and so like having statues of my fandom and having statues of my god gods is kind of you know along the same kind of thing um if nothing else they're like beautiful pieces to have in my home to like remind me of that spirit so you know i think that i think there's something in that as well in the past i've definitely used like um printed images of spirits and put them in frames and things like that um and that's totally an option as well but i've never White had the same like <laughs> the same sort of visceral experiences with images of, as I have with statuary um, and I you know my teacher Aaron Leach he sort of was talking about this recently as well about how like you know I idolatry is where the the statue is the god whereas for us they're talismanic it's a space for the god to stand um, God, spirit, whatever we're talking about. Um, so it's a place for them to stand. It's not necessarily like if you destroy the statue, you destroy the spirit. Um, you know, we're not talking about golems in that way or something. Um, so, you know, I, I definitely think there is a difference there and he was sort of highlighting that in his post. Um, and I would definitely agree with that. You know, I don't think that for the most part, if you destroy the statue, you destroy the spirit. Like, 
Except for those few cases where, like, you're, you're talking about servitors or golems or things like that. So, yeah, you know, that's not really a thing that, like, factors into it. So I don't know if it's technically idolatry, but, you know, it is um, a relationship with a spirit through a statue. They are talismanic in that way. So it's very interesting. I guess as well, like, if you're working from a system where, um, you know, things like the Lima or the Golden Dawn... Uh, where they talk about like building up the image of a spirit in your mind and giving them form so that they can use that form to communicate with you. Uh, so it's not like, you know, the spirit appears as they will, but as you will. Um, and so by using statuary, you can sort of like designate that, um, that form for the spirit to take um, and sort of that that way it's more consistent for you and anybody else who would then interact with that same statue and therefore that same spirit um, that you would be working with that same form um, which you know in those sorts of systems are important you know because they're given to the spirit to take on to interact with us through that form. I guess it just comes down to like how you sort of perceive the spirits and like whether or not these are psychological cues or if they're like a house for the spirits or if they're the spirits themselves um, I think that really depends on your sort of metaphysics, but for me, it's always very much been that second one, that talismanic, this is like a house for the spirit to come into, a place for the spirit to live, uh, rather than the spirit itself. So, but yeah, let me know what your relationship is with statuary in the comments below. Um, like and subscribe to become a wizard today, and um, I will speak to you in the next one. I hope you're all well. Bye.